What's up guys, Bones88 here, and welcome to my first episode of the Rolling Bones series. Now what is Rolling Bones? Well, it's really nothing special at all. All this is, is I am streaming for a couple hours, I'm editing it down to more of a highlight kind of video, and using it and calling it the Rolling Bones series. So this is what I'll be putting out on YouTube from now on as just my streams putting them into episodes all right so i just want to get that out of the way so you kind of understand what the hell rolling bones is that's just what i've called my series right me and zary kind of came together and i really like that so um yeah so that's about it for that today we're going to not do too much we're going to grind on campaigns we're going to pull some uh ancient shards and just do random stuff do my dailies and that's about it and that's what these that's what these rolling bones videos will consist of I don't have much. I need somebody to replace a Tinua. Um, she's not horrible, but I just think I'm outgrown her. I'm getting to the point where I just need to move on. I'm not going to delete her. I'm not going to feed her. I'll still ascend her if I get in. You know what I mean? Cause I'm sure she's good for something down the road. I just can't use her right now. I also went through all my rares after hanging out with Zary last night and just talking about undervalued champions that are elites and below. Um... And I took everyone to four star that I want to work on eventually. I'm not necessarily going to do that, but I had enough experience. Let's put a little into him so that I, he's not just buried with everything else. I have 500,000 experience, so. Once again, I don't know if it's the way to farm experience, but I saw somebody say 1-1, one one, chap, you know, chapter 1, level 1, get a 2x two, uh, two times XP cube. And then I'm um, just farm that, and I have been. So when I have nothing to do, I've just been farming that. So yeah, I'm just taking all these people to four star. That's not that hard. I mean, I know these are kind of precious, but I've been getting a decent amount of these, and I don't have anyone that I really need to save them for because my summons have just been trash. All right, we're about to pull some shards because I can't really progress without knowing what I get in those. I hope I can pull off a times 20 if I have enough uh, crystals. How's everybody doing in these events? I think I got all of them on the energy one. That's a, I like that one. I like the energy one. You have to spend quite a bit of energy, but still, I don't think Ray does that. Do they, Zary? That's a pretty good event. I think that's cool. What else? We have gear collection. Okay. Rookie hero promotion. Alright. So, like, if you have food you need to feed, when this is going on, this is probably when you need to start promoting your food. You don't necessarily have to feed them, right? But start promoting your food right now, because it's going on. But gear collection. So, pretty much, you could just... Anything that gives you gear, which I would say, me and Zary were just talking about this, it's better to farm gear through the hard nodes than it is through the dungeons, right? Either way, you get, you can even farm level one on the dungeons, right? As long as you're getting gear, um, you're getting points for this. And I have a really good chest waiting on me right here, look at this. Contains an item of five star legendary gear. There's only one though, Divine Crown. This character has a 30% chance to launch a counterattack with your basic attack. So someone who has a really good basic that might remove buffs or something else stun or something, this is what you'd want to put a divine set on. Also, now that I'm working on more elite characters, I'm actually very excited to open up these blue shards. So I'm definitely going to be able to do a times 20 ancient, but to kill some time, let's just um, open up these 80. Let's open this real quick. We'll do my blue, uh, ain't my blue, sh what are they, shards, crystals? <laughs> I call them something different every time. Come on. Mulago! My 900th Mulago. I can't give these things away. Come on, come on. Cece! What do you guys think about Cece's ultimate, where she possesses people? 
I don't think she's a good character, but that's a pretty cool, um, that's a pretty cool move. All right, so let's pull some summons. Vidar, I want to work on him. Awesome. I wish the glowing jellyfish was good. I might just take him up for the fun of it. So, uh, Vidar, I'm okay with that, because I need to send him. I guess it won't let you allow you to skip these, even though there's no legendary or epic. Um, nothing there. Oh crap, I gotta catch up with you guys here. Let me see what I pulled here. Contaminator, baby! It's time to contaminate some mother truckers. Yeah, Jelly, you were close to a million? Holy crap, and it's all gone? I need to pay attention to those fusions and work on those. Because I think I can get them done rather quickly. Because there's epics that are required for legendary summons. Well, those epics you can fuse also with rare characters. So it's kind of a snowball effect, and I need to be paying attention to that. Um, nothing here. The Black Owl. I want to look at this guy. <laughs> what a badass. I wish some of these things were good, man. I wish they didn't put very many time, so much time into look making the crappy characters look cool. Because then I just want them. Oh, Mulago? Okay. Gotcha, brother. I wouldn't even pay attention to what I had there. I, I didn't see anything good. Nothing. Come on. Stodgy civilian? Yeah, he's my favorite. <laughs> Zary you called him Stoogy. I like Stoogy better. <laughs> Rodira, I don't think I like her. Damn, I didn't even get good pulls on this. Hopefully all my bad luck was on that. Alright, advance summon. The times two, boys. Here we go. Times 10. Next time we do this, I'll do one at a time and test our little theory. Hey! Oh! <laughs> this is who I, move I need almost. Zary. Were we not just talking about... Or maybe it wasn't Zary, but I, Zary, I was talking to you. I wanted someone who reduced cooldowns. I sent a text in our Discord, and I think they said Winstrex is who I need. Are you kidding me? Either way, I know she's good. When using an ability, there's a 50% chance to redu reduce its basic cooldown time by one turn. This ability may only be triggered twice per battle. Deals 60% damage to an enemy and applies speed down. That's alright. Refreshes the cooldown of an ally's ultimate ability. This is what I wanted. So, listen, Zary, I don't know how it will work, but Raven, Holen, this girl, she can reduce their cooldowns when needed or whatever, and that's a huge move right there for any team. Holy crap. Now, the thing is, it's six cooldowns, though. That's what worries me. If it was, like, four or five, I don't know. So I'm looking forward to this. This girl instantly replaces a uh, unicorn girl. So we have already made a lot of uh, stuff here. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, well, someone told me the other day, commented on my Elite videos, and said that this is the total what it'll end up being. But if I can get it down to four, that's okay with me. When you see it on index, gotcha. Okay, all right, that makes sense. I get you. I'm excited. Let's pull another one, though. Why not? Oh, also, we got a Holens, which I'm working on, a Connor, an Abbott. So this was a big, this is a big pull. That was, I'm okay with that. All right. 
Tom's tin, baby! Let's go! Oh, yes! Ow! Oh, that's legendary, right? Hey! I don't know if she's good, but hey! Legendary! There's my raid luck! I'm trying to convert my raid account luck over here. That happened today. I don't know if she's good. But I got a Joseph. I got a Vidar. Axel. He's really good. Of course, you gotta love Dulov. I, I'm trying to get him to six star as fast as I can. Two. He, I got more good rares in these two times tens than I did in those other ones. And maybe that's on purpose. I don't know. Wow. Awesome. So we're going to spend a little bit of time. Oh, let's look at our kit real quick. But we're going to spend a little bit of time leveling these characters up. What is up with... I don't know anything about this girl. Imogen. Grants one stack of moonlight at the start of the turn. Each stack allows this character to ignore plus 2% of enemy defense, max plus 20, heals 3% of max health per moonlight obtained. So, of course, so what that's saying, we need to stack some moonlight as much as we can because she's healing herself and she's ignoring defense on it. All right? I feel like ignore defense is awesome no matter who it is. So deal 70% damage to an enemy with a 50% chance to grant one stack of moonlight. If this ability lands a crit strike, then there's a 100% chance of, to grant one stack of moonlight. So we have to go all in on crit uh, chance, right? So that she's getting that moonlight because you want as much on her as you can. So we really have to work on her crit chance. When an ally attacks... She launches a joint attack that deals initial damage of 20%, which decreases with each bounce. This consumes one stack of moonlight. When an ally lands a crit strike, launches a joint attack that deals initial damage of 40%, which decreases with each bounce. This consumes two stacks of moonlight. I don't know if I... What do you guys think about this one? I don't know if I like that. It's taking moonlight off of you and you're hardly doing anything. I'm confused on what that even does, to be honest. All right, this grants two stacks of moonlight to this character and then deals 90% damage to all enemies and removes one positive effect from each. If removal is successful, grants one extra stack of moonlight to this character. I think she'll be good. I just don't know on paper what I would do with her. I really like her moon knight. I like how moonlight is her debuff. And she has like a Moon Knight weapon thing from like Marvel. She looks pretty badass. I can't believe I got a le two great characters. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So happy with that. I have nothing left, but I'm definitely happy. 300k jelly, perfect timing. Oh man, such a great time. Also, Flip Wilson, thank you for the follow, man. Sorry, I don't have my headphones in, so I don't hear the, the thing. But thank you for joining, brother. Oh, she's a dark... Game over? I didn't even pay attention to that. Damn. Okay, here's another thing. I might have enough to take one of them to level 50. Which one should I do first? Maz, her kit's kind of all over the place. Yeah, it, it's, it sounds cool, but I don't even know what I would do with that. So yeah, what do you guys think? Which one should I do? I'm thinking Windstrex. I feel like Windstrex will get me more um, value right now than... Um... What was her name? Omagen or something? Yeah, also we're gonna have to do some grinding on campaigns, which I know it's not gonna be exciting, but... Unfortunately, we just have to... We all just have to kind of come together and share information, you know? Because there's no way to test that kind of stuff at full... At full, um... You know, with maxed out characters and stuff. So a lot of us have to keep sharing information, trying things, theory crafting. I'm not a great theory crafter, but this game is encouraging me to actually theory craft and try some things. And I don't feel punished for working on characters that I like that may not be the best character. Because a lot of things is like everybody has Hydrissia. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, she can, you know, by herself wreck everything. But why not come up with some other stuff, you know? So every time I, I see someone ask for permission, Hydrissia, or uh, help. Hydrissia, Hydrissia, Hydrissia. Yes, she's good in everything. But I really want to come up with these niche teams. Like I'm saying, Windstrix, 
Holens, Raven. I need a third person. I don't know who I would use as a third. But I think I'm going to work on Winstrix. I think I'm going to take her to 50. Plus, she'll be easier to level up, right? So, gear. So the, so the question is, what do I put on her? She doesn't shine outside of boss fights. Okay. But that's still fine, man. She's an elite, right? At least she's really good at something. I don't need someone who's good at everything. And that's the t thing about these games is every dungeon has different required characters. And that's what's cool about these games. You're not just going to have the same five characters beat everything in the game. And that's what I really like about it. Game over. Use first six star uh, good DPS. I'll get there, brother. I'm just not where you're at yet. I don't need a six star yet. Soon, but I want to take one more person to 50 because everyone else is 50 except Intinua. She's not that great. I put off taking her to 50 and I just want to do this. After everyone's to 50, I'll start working on some 60s. Once again, I'm not even through the campaigns yet. You know what I mean? I'm like level three or four on most of the dungeons. I'll get there, but I'm just I'm behind a lot of people because I'm making content. It takes me a long time to edit down these streams. That's going to be part of my YouTube content. Um, and I couldn't play it on my phone till today. Now I can lay in bed, play it whenever, you know, when I've got downtime and stuff like that. So my progress will be a lot better. If I had my phone before, I'd be just where everyone else is, right? But unfortunately, I'm like the one content creator who's behind the most. So <laughs> I'm always playing catch up. Every time I'm about to release a video, three other people have already done the same one, so. Speed sets, okay. You probably want her to, yeah. The faster she goes, the more often she'll be able to do that cooldown move, for sure. I don't know how survivable she is, but maybe like one health set or something. We'll see what I have. I should have enough four stars to take her to, um, oh yeah, I got plenty. Look at that. That battle pass is such a huge value. I'm not even halfway through it yet. Let's go. You said speed sets though. Let's do this real quick. So I don't forget. Put this on her. Oh, wait. Should we do focus instead of uh, health? Survivability in the secondary. We have two speeds, two. Okay, that'll do for now. You know, we can work on it later. I'm okay with that. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm very excited. Now let's work on her. Take her as far as we can. I'm okay with her getting to level 50. I don't think I had enough four stars, but that's okay. I can get there. I am pumped. And I'm in no rush to take this girl to 50 or 40 or whatever, but um, I am interested in trying things out. Like like he said, Marion, paired with Marion, I already plan on taking... Marion's already a four star. So maybe we can mess around and do some um, Ash stuff. I'm not very far in Ash, but maybe she can do really good in the early versions, you know? So, I'm down. Like I said, it's going to be a while before I have anything better than this. I'm okay using these. Every month, I'll probably be buying enough stuff where I can get some consistent four stars. Hopefully, the battle pass stays the same as it is, and I'm going to be getting that every time. Come on, let me get to 50. Let me get to 50. Ah! What are you guys thinking about gear for her? She's a complicated one. Crit chance, right? That's what we wanted. Crit chance. I, I want to say some attack. Because she's not dealing very much damage. But the thing that she does is she ignores health or defense, right? So I'm thinking, what do you guys think? Some crit chance with some attack? Because look, her attack has an S next to it. And her crit rate has an A. But that's 8%. Okay, rage. Okay, so... 
I still like the- oh, this one has attack. What is this one? Once again, I can't remember what the other one had, but this looks really good right here. Already, I like that. That is better. I like that one. Three star defense? We'll come back to that. This one has speed, crit rate, crit rate, there we go, perfect. That's what we need. Not much of anything here. There's more crit rate, so we'll use this. And um, we're gonna change that to that. So that's pretty, I like that. I think we're good there. All right, I think I'm happy where all that is. Let's go back to the main menu. What do you guys want to do? What should I be uh, working on? Should I just go keep grinding the campaigns? Look at this. All right. Uh, I might finish this off. Three advanced cr summoning crystals. Maybe by the end of this, we can um, pull another times 10. So let's check out my elites. I got some extra Vidars. I know this doesn't count for leveling him up, but uh, I could take these guys to 40, though. No, I'm promoting. I'm promoting. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to take some low-level characters and promote them. Vidar. I really like this guy. I'm excited to get him to uh, a functioning state. I'm just after doing that video on elites. I'm excited to work on elites more than legendaries Because I'll be able to level them up so much quicker. I know I need to be promoting. I know I'm just uh, doing my sins because I forgot I also think this guy's a really good poisoner because it seems like there's several poisoners that don't seem amazing on their own, but if you put them together, like two po two certain poisoners together, I feel like they can do some work. What is he wanting? Oh, I can do a glyph. Glyph me up. Glyph me up before you go. Oh. I'm excited about this guy, too. I'm not going to put any glyphs on him. Ascend. It's time to ascend. You got six Asgulls. Is he good? Pan, let's go. Over, I'll go over his kid again. I like him, man. He seems like he's a pretty legit poisoner. So on his trait, he applies poison to all enemies, all of them, for two turns upon the death of an enemy. So I'm not thinking so much as a, a boss for this, right? This is more of a campaign type of thing. Because the more people are dying, the more poison he's putting out there. But that's still a pretty decent trait. It's not even a move. This ability may be triggered up to one time per round. So it's still a pretty decent trait. I don't know how great it is for a boss. I could be wrong. Um, he deals 80% damage to an enemy with a 50% chance to apply poison for two turns. Heals this character for 20% of damage dealt. So he's getting healed. I mean, this one's okay. It's not amazing. He only has a 50% chance, right? But it gets better. He deals 80% damage to an enemy, plus 1% damage per 1% health lost by the target. I feel like that caveat could be helpful in a lot of places. Very, very, a lot of places. I don't know what, you know what I mean yet? But I feel like that's kind of big. So the lower the person's health is, the more damage he's putting out. It reminds me of Shaolin, right? Was it Shaolin and Dragon Champions that had that caveat? Um... Now this is what I kind of like, is he deals 120% damage to all enemies and applies poison for two turns. So that is a guaranteed poison on everybody. So he has several chances to be applying poison. He can with his ultimate. Um, I just feel like he, he has the ability to put out a lot of poisons. Once again, pair him with another poisoner, and I feel like they could go pretty crazy. You need Gangelo? Yeah, I like Gangelo too. And you're right, buddy. I had him in closed beta, and he was really good. And I, I put him with a... I think it was the guy that was, like, riding a little... I would call him a grog. <laughs> I don't know why I'd call it a grog. That's just what it looks like what their names would be. But he was a pretty good poisoner. I, I put them together. 
He used Axel and Beta and he wasn't hitting that hard, but was pretty solid as healing quite a bit. Yeah, I don't I don't see him being a hard hitter. It's all about him applying the poisons, right? And I don't think he's good by himself. But yeah, like he said, Gangelo, or there might be another poisoner you can put him with. Yeah, I think he has potential, but by himself, not really, no. You need him with another poisoner, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, no, I just don't think, I think he's willing to at least pimp him out as far as I can, passively, right? I'm not putting much into him. I'm not going to take him straight to 50 or anything. He'll stay right here for a long time, but keep ascending him, you know, eventually work on his abilities and everything, and I think down the road we're going to find some use out of him. And I'm really just doing this with all these few elites because I want to theory craft them. I think everyone's more worried about legendaries and stuff. Well, I think there's some pretty awesome stuff you can do with these guys. Like Holens, I'm really excited. He, he, I might take to 50 if I can get enough out of him. I really like Holens. Once again, he's not here to be an attacker. He's strictly there to put debuffs on a team. That's what he does. That's why you have him. So all these don't make a, a difference. As long as he's staying alive and probably put some speed on him and he's still putting out those um, debuffs, I think he has a place in the game somewhere too. I can't tell you where or how or why, but it just makes sense. And then you put Raven with him, just know that Holens is putting some crazy debuffs out, all kinds of different ones. It's a lot of variety. And then me and Zeri, were, Zeri was talking about this in his stream too. This move here deals 90% damage to an enemy plus 50% bonus damage for every negative effect on the enemy. So every mo one, every negative effect that's on somebody, that's more damage she's doing. And I think that there's something there too. I don't have either one of them where I want to be, but eventually I'm going to get them to level 50 or something and try this duo out on just all over the game. Because I think you might have to manual that team because you don't want people doing certain moves before others. But you get the turn uh, order right, you manual it, I think these guys can do some damage. So, Mary too. Mary is a, an amazing cleanser. She passively cleanses. Um, she also just reminds me of a little baddie from Dragon Champions. So she's also going to be good. I don't even remember why I like Vidar, but I remember reading his kit thinking he's going to be good. Oh, he grants defensive up and dodge up for three turns. I think that one move right there, you're going to find is pretty good. Although, I, does he do it to everyone or just himself? I didn't think about that. I might have thought that everyone was getting it. Deals 200% damage to an enemy and causes this character and the enemy to taunt. So this is another thing. It's like, if you don't have any taunt, I don't have a taunt at all. That's why I'm building him up because this one move is pretty awesome. He's taunting himself for three turns and then he's forcing someone else to taunt at the same time. I think that's a pretty awesome move. I think that's pretty cool. I think if you really need someone who's a good taunter, I think this guy is probably not bad. Because look over here. His health and defense is getting a B, right? That's all you want. You want him to survive, put taunt out on people, take taunt, and just take the damage off of this. So I think he has a place somewhere. And there's not a lot of good taunters. There's people who apply taunt to others, but there's not very many people who actually put taunt on themselves and take the attention off the rest of the team. So, and then Marion also. We were just talking about Marion. Moz was saying how Marion was good. Um, I don't have enough experience, or I do the quick promote thing. Let's get rid of my red dots. And I think we'll just grind some campaign, unfortunately, guys. I, I don't have too much to do. That's where I'm slacking in, is the campaign. Because I can't farm. It's about to crash. Oh, we got it, bud. We got it, guys. Hopefully we can get another times 10 today. So I've done the energy one. I've done the rookie hero promotion. This makes a man feel good because I can never do good in a raid. Ever. And now I've already done two events. Um, the gear collection, probably off camera, I'll grind a bunch of gear, a bunch of nodes and get that. Um, anything else? Nope. So let's look at what uh, they have here to reward us with. Look, I have stuff I didn't even claim yet. Alright. I'm hoarding my stones. Okay, here's another thing I should tell you guys. Uh, real quick, look at this. A six-star rage ring. And you don't have to put too much into this. Make sure you guys are grinding this out because that's the best reward I've seen besides a four-star uh, pumpkin. That is huge. Look at this. A rage pendant. 
Rage, guys. Six star Rage. Think what we can do with that. I have so many characters that could use that. Wow. I am going all out on this one. That's the best uh, rewards I've seen so far. That's huge. And then we have a gear enhancement coming up soon, too. Okay, so that's what I was going to say. I'm going to help you guys prep for the gear enhancement event. It's easy. Just hoard up as much one star and two star gear that you can. Do as much as you can and then go to the market and make sure you're buying all this gear out of here. It's not very much. And you can just feed that to your other, you know, equipment. You can level them up with that. So just, and then even if, just go to one of the, the gear places, it doesn't matter which dungeon, and just grind level one and get a bunch of one star gear and just use it as food so you're not wasting your, your enhancement crystals, right? So just hoard these and spend your, I, I mean, to a point, it's gonna be just a waste feeding your one star equipment. But what else are you doing with it, you know? So, I mean, you know, I would probably quit using them to like level five or something. I think they're gonna be worthless past that. But still, that's a lot of crystals you didn't have to use. So I think that will go a long way for you if you feed all these and just, like I said, just get as much as you can. That's actually pretty helpful that you can use that. So I never refresh this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. To do it for 20, you should do that every single day. You should do one refresh in the market every single day. If you don't, I'm coming for you. Even two stars, they're not very much. And I've seen three star in the shop, if you get lucky. It's there. I would buy this all day. I just don't want to spend the, the, the diamonds yet. Definitely get you a foodie every once in a while. Hoard them up. I'm always buying these too. I just never have enough to buy the 500, but that's a way better deal. The 24 hour than the six hour one is. All right, let's go try these new characters out. I'm excited. Stone, you said was thinking about the animations and I get a point Zeri raised. There's something the devs are proud of and want to show off, but maybe some option to have them shut off after the first visual each fight or turn off AI ones only. Yeah, Stone. So we've had this discussion a lot, actually, and um, I've heard Darth Microtransaction have some good discussions, and just a lot of people have heard different ones, and they're spreading them around, right? So this is what I think the best way to do it is. Make people watch it. Okay, you know how the campaigns work? You're, you're unlocking something as you go, right? You're not even able to auto the battle until a certain point in the chapter. So let's say you get to chapter four or five, and then you're able to unlock or turn the animation off, right? That gives you several fights that you had to sit there and watch them. And then Darth said this and lots of other people during arena fights and PVP, make it so people have to watch them. I think that's a great medium where people can meet in the middle and say, okay, people are getting to see the animations because they're awesome. I freaking love them. Such a great quality of life. And it's, it's awesome. But sometimes not sometimes, a lot of times I just want them off, right? Because you're just wanting to grind. You're not worried about, you're not even looking at the screen, right? It's just making the battles take longer. So I think there's a way that everyone can meet in the middle and everyone be happy because I think they should be admired, right? I think they should be seen, but how do you do that at the same time not annoying everyone? And I think what I just said is a great way to do that. Let's take these two out. And we're just going to see how these guys do. So, If we need a healer, we'll put my Theseia back in. Trade them both out. I just want to see how they do on auto. This is actually the first battle with my new people in here. Let's see her animation. She is Winstrix. Okay. Wasn't that amazing, but I just love all the animations. I mean, it is so cool. Don't get me wrong. It's just like after the 7,000th time... That it's happened, it's like, all right, I, I, please let me turn it off. I just want to grind, right? Smokey said, don't farm one-star equipment from dungeons. Just grind glyphs. You'll get the equipment from... Great point. So, yeah, I was saying go grind them from a dungeon. Smoke makes a good point. Just go farm glyphs for your characters, which you do that by the campaign nodes, and you passively get gear anyways. That's actually... I, I, they might have to nerf that. 
Because what's the point of going over to a dungeon unless you're hitting level 9 or 10? What's the point of doing it, right? Because you might as well just go farm the campaigns and you get more out of it. So if they want people to be engaged with the dungeons, they might have to nerf how much uh, gear you actually get. Game over, you won't farm gear dungeons until I can get auto stage 8 and 9. And I don't think you should. I, ag I, ag I agree completely, brother. I think if you can get 8 plus autoed, then I think you'll be fine. So I'm just, just, these are my first battles with a whole level 50 team. See here, I mean, I just, just got these two, Windstrex and Imogen. Um, my thesis is amazing, um, but a lot of us have talked about it. It's like, she's more of a luxury character, right? There's so many good healers in the game. And yes, yeah, she has revive, which is unique to her, only her. And that's what kind of sets her apart from everybody else. I think she's probably the best healer, right? But you don't need her. She, uh, so she kind of falls out of favor, but she's still someone that's really good to have. Because she's gotten me a long ways at level 40. And that's another thing I'm doing. I'm not going all in and just straight taking someone to 60, right? I don't have the money to just kind of, and I'm not saying that you have to will to be able to get to the point of getting 60, right? I'm just in no rush to get people to level 60 unless I'm stuck on somewhere on the campaign or something and I just can't get past it and I have to, right? Otherwise, I'm leaving everyone at 50. So I'm okay with that. I think that you're going to get the most out of them at 50. That's fine. 60 is just when you got to step things up, start getting to the high levels of um, dungeons and all that. But the campaigns, like you just said, I feel like didn't need to be up to level 60 either. But it also depends on what characters you have, right? But I think I'm now starting to get to the point where I could probably start making a, a pretty good run at these campaigns. And I think I'm only going to level up foodies to 5 star, right? You don't want to put a... I will put some experience and take some crappy characters up to 2, maybe 3 stars. But I'm not going to do it at past that, right? That's what my foodies are for. And they give you a good influx of foodies from the market that you can keep working on them if you need some, right? So, I just haven't got to that point yet. My main goal at this moment is just to get through most of the campaign. Then I can start getting picky about everything and start getting my mindset on other stuff, other parts of the game, right? But I think the first thing someone should do as a beginner is you should just, I haven't even paid attention to this. That one's pretty cool. Especially in slow motion. That was, that was cool. Short, sweet, got to the point, and that was pretty cool. I don't know what I was saying, but yeah, as a beginner, I would just uh, try to completely get through campaign. And that goes for any game like this, right? Your very first goal should just be get, get through the campaign, because then you can farm anything you need for your characters. Trey, I am not free to play, brother. And I wasn't free to play in, in um, Dragon Champions, so I'm kind of converting the $15 a month I spent on there over to this game. And I, I've talked about this, and other people are like, they're not worried about it. And I'm not saying they need to start releasing characters right now, right? I'm just saying if you're a whale who's spending even just maybe two to three hundred dollars a month on this game, I feel like you're gonna have all the characters within two to three months. That's the only reason I keep saying like I wonder how long before they start releasing more characters. Because if you're a whale, I feel like you could get bored in this game rather quickly. I don't even if I had millions of dollars, I don't think this is the game that I would want to whale in. I just want to have fun, you know, passively progress every day. Um, in Raid, I'm like, I have no desire to ever pay for anything in that game. You can you can get everything free to play. And when it's mostly PvE, you don't feel rushed to spend, right? When it's strictly PvP, you're like, I gotta keep spending. I gotta spend more this month to keep up, right? You're, you're, you're feeling pressured when it's mostly PvP. But this game is 98% PvE, so you don't feel rushed. You don't feel like, oh man, I didn't get my dailies in yesterday. I'm screwed for the week. You know what I mean? Like my progression is so gone because I missed a day. You don't feel that. You don't feel the pressure to keep logging in and checking every two hours to make sure you've efficiently done everything the most efficiently you can. Game over, you said to beat Adventure 9 and 10 on hard. I think I need 60s. Okay, it, it'll get to that point probably. But if I'm gonna get as far as I can on normal. 
get as far as I can on hard, right? And then I'll probably start working on getting someone to 60 or so. I'm not against 60s, right? I'm just not in the point right now where I feel like it has to be soon. I really want to pimp out everybody's abilities and glyphs before I take anyone to 60, you know? But I, I, I'm guessing Zatlux will probably be my first 60. This guy is crazy. Like, the waves that he can just take out in one turn is insane. Such a beast. And he's epic, so he's really not too hard to get all his abilities maxed, get all the glyphs. He's... He's definitely legendary status. There's no one else I even have any desire to take the 60 but him. Damn, see, I just got smoked right here. Your suffering has yet to begin. Let me try this one more. Oh, he was at 10% too. Um, so let's take her out. Let's put my Thesea back in. This may not matter either. But there wasn't much healing going on. And maybe I should take her to 50 next to keep going through here. Because I don't see it, my team getting much better than this. The only thing is, on auto, she'll do her revive move, as you can see right here, no matter how much health anyone has or anything. Um, it will heal your t team up entirely, see? But if someone's dead when you do that, she brings back the entire team. If there's one, two, three people gone, she'll bring them all back and then heal the rest all the way up. It's an amazing move, right? It's an amazing move. And she is definitely awesome. Perfect. He, oh, damn. He killed that, uh... I don't know. But but look, I got demolished on this, but now that my Theseus is in there, we're all alive. So, I think we're going to get this. So, yeah, I'm going to keep her in because the difference it was without her than with her was huge. Boom. Oh, usually they heal all the way back up. That's alright. 3%. Although he revives, doesn't he? How do I keep him from reviving? Did he die? Yep. He revived. Awesome. Come on, boys. Kill him. I used to have him, though. Boom! Is he dead? Let's go. Good job. I'm liking this team. I will say that this map is very frustrating. In just many different ways. The way this navigates is really frustrating. One thing, that's a small complaint, don't get me wrong. But it's one of the big things that if you could change something, that's what it would be. So I'm going to change my support here. Just because she's level 40, don't underestimate her. She's still a boss. Which I need to collect it anyways. I didn't even think about that. Um, okay. Okay. Got more capacity. Chuck some people in here. Only 80%? Come on. I gave you everything I got. Trash. Mulago! Good enough. Come on. If I fail these, I'm freaking out. Ravone! 106%? I think that's guaranteed, right? I don't know how you can go over 100%. Perfect. Perfect! Alright. I don't know about the bonus uh, stuff, buddy. I'm not sure. Oh, if you're above 100%, you get a bonus? On the dispatches? I didn't know that, Pan. And there's a quick set button? I didn't realize that either. <laughs> that's good to know, though game over you have two heroes at level four glyphs i haven't been working on glyphs at all a after this i'm going to start farming some for zatlux for sure ask xmg dude my luck and raid is insane never spent a dollar 
didn't even know what the hell I'm doing. I would pull godlike um, characters and not even know. I'd just be like, is this guy good? And Zary's like, dude, you just picked the best, or you just got the best attacker in the game. Two weeks later. So I pulled this man. He's an epic. What do you think? You just got the fastest arena champion in the game. <laughs> it's all the time. He's played for like two and a half years, and my account is almost, uh, you know, character-wise, it's almost as good as his is. All right. Valak. Trash. Trash, 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 trash. Pulls, 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 pulls. Something, something. Stunkenstein. You guys get it, right? <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> Varsh, is crit rate, is there ever a bit much crit rate? I feel like, um, I'm not happy unless I have 100%. Void Tower. I'm at 11 right now. <laughs> so this needs done anyway, so let's do it. Let's get a grind on. I might go to like 15, do another times 10 and call it good. Oh, we have to make Bone Thugs 3. I forgot about that. <laughs> That was going to be my first thing I did whenever I got on here. I'm happy to see Bone Slugs growing, man. I'd say three guilds is officially an alliance, right? I never thought I'd have an alliance in a game. Smoke, it's still early in the game. Let's see how many players are still around in the month. Smoke, when you join my alliance, you don't ever leave. You stay put, you do your dailies, and if you don't, something bad's going to happen to you. <laughs> All right, we're at, we're at 15. We're going to call that quits. Let's go make Bone Thugs 3. I'm going to have to leave. So, Zeri, I am making you the leader. You are now leader. Create guild. BT3. Bone I don't remember what our our symbol is. Let's do the Sauron Eye. Region, add types, anyone can join. I'm gonna let anyone can join until it starts getting more people wanting to come in. I'll kick some people out. Add labels to describe your guild to help like minus find it. Um casual. Hero development and novice friendly. Create. All right. So if you guys know anybody who needs to um, needs a guild, reach out to me or come join it. I'm sure it's going to fill up quick because anyone can join this. But we'll kick some people out, get some people in that need to be. Right now, there's only a couple people that need into this, but I think it's going to grow. I find more people reaching out. So yeah. And if you're watching this on YouTube, go to my Discord. Reach out. We have a whole Discord just for the Alliance. It's growing. I'll make 35 guilds if I need to, right? So if you need a place to go, reach out to me and we'll get you there. Like, look right here. 4,000 for a four-star. That's my first four-star I've seen in here. There's a three-star. There's two three-star. Or, yeah. Rage, too. Honestly, try auto mode. Ultimate skills aren't triggering. Okay. Well, let me pull these real quick. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. She's okay. And it's not bad. Malik, get out of here. Go hang out with your cousin from another mother, Valak. Ooh, joggle. Give me something. Trash. Trash, trash, trash. But everybody's working on Connor. Everyone's working on Joseph. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm working on some of the more dark horse people. Oh, don't get me wrong. Connor is one of the best characters in the game, but I'm that kind of guy. This goes for everything in life. It's like the biggest song in the world and every single person's listening to it, I automatically don't like it. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate going with trends. I hate going in the direction everyone else is going, right? So, I'm kind of going to work on some other things. And that's what's cool about this game, is it's not PvP based, so I don't have to feel that I have to go for the best characters, right? So I kind of have to do what I want, have some little fun, and go off the beaten path. Because I can always come back and get Connor. I have him, you know. Pan, what do I do to turn on basics? Okay, only on auto, so let's check it out. Uh, they, they were doing their ultimates earlier for me. So, let's turn them all off. That cancels the ultimate. That's another thing I did not know about. I just made a video about things you may not know about. And I wish I would have known that. If, it's, if it has that cancel system down there, that's what it means. Because watch. I've never even clicked on those. I didn't even know you could do that. I got you, Pan. I just didn't know that was a thing, Pan. That's why I didn't understand. <laughs> Twin said he's been going crazy doing chapter 10 hard with no alts. <laughs> That's interesting, David, that you say that. So, yes, okay. Because there's times where I don't want my Mythesia to do her ultimate, right? That's very helpful. You guys taught me something that's going to be very helpful. Good job. See what we can do together. All right, y'all. Thank you for all the new guys in here, Twin and everyone else who came in and hung out with me. Always good to meet somebody new. Hopefully you guys come back. I love you all very, very dearly. dearly. All the new people who came in today, come by my Discord, join it. I'm always there talking. Lots and lots of good people in there talking. If you need some help, we're here to, here to help too. So another thing is make sure if you need a guild, come by Bone Thugs 3 or once again, come to my Discord. We'll get you set up and we'll get you going. So... With that being said, I love y'all, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.